In order to build a large, and most importantly useful, body of information for the digital library, we turn to our staff, volunteers, interested outside parties, and of course, our existing partners to recommend informational and educational resources for inclusion in the eGranary. This list of documents makes up our wish list for the eGranary. There are incredible numbers of digital documents in the world today, some of which exist in the public domain or have been designated as shareable by their creators. We are free to draw from this pool of resources and add anything on our wish list that falls under these categories to the eGranary. The remaining documents are contained within private intranets or exist on the internet as the property of some individual or organization. In these cases, we must obtain permission from the authors or publishers of these websites to add their work to our digital library. The process is relatively simple. We contact the creators of the desired website and ask if they would allow us to duplicate their site onto the eGranary. In some cases, publishers have even donated content that usually requires a subscription fee to access over the internet. Once we have permission to use a publisher's content, we simply copy the site to a hard drive or server at the University of Iowa's WiderNet offices. This becomes the eGranary Digital Library. Once the file systems and user interface are in order, the library is ready to be copied and distributed to subscribing institutions throughout the world.